Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Proverbs 16 verse 4. The Lord works out everything for his own ends, even the wicked for a day of disaster. This tells us, friends, that God is sovereign, that everything is under his control. He said that the Lord will work out everything for his own end, for his own glory. And therefore, friends, if that is the case, let us surrender our lives to him, that he may work out everything to accomplish everything in our lives for his glory. Certainly, he will not bring defeat because defeat will not glorify him. Certainly, nothing negative will come to those that will seek him, to those that will serve him. In fact, he was saying here, friends, that even the wicked for the day of disaster, meaning on the day of disaster, the wicked will suffer. So, where do you want to be counted? Among the righteous, where God will accomplish his purpose for his own end in your life? Or should you be one of those that are wicked that will suffer the consequence? Because again, friends, he can use even the wicked to glorify his name. Remember Pharaoh? When Pharaoh just refused to listen to God when he was telling him to let the Israelites go well you know what God said he said that I created you for this very purpose that I may glorify your name in you and indeed friends God glorified his name in Pharaoh when he did all the, all those uh, miracles those wonders that he performed so that Indian friends, Pharaoh got no choice but to surrender. See, he can accomplish his purpose for his own end. Friends, God is sovereign. So, again, let's learn a lesson from what he did to Pharaoh. Those plagues, friends, terrible plagues, ten of them. But he did it to glorify his name in him. To the Jews, friends, those were miracles. He did so many things for them. And so why don't we go on the side of those that are being blessed? So that rather than plague coming, miracles will come to us. For the Lord to fully accomplish his plan in our lives. The better way then is to surrender our lives to him, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us be born again. When we are born again, God will accomplish his purpose in our lives. Amen. He will not deny us, friends, the best of the best, because we are his amen yeah we are told friends, that he will accomplish his purpose for his own end and of course we know that the end that the lord wants would be for anything that is for his glory he created us for his glory hallelujah so friends again let us be conscious in the way that we live our lives it's a choice that we get to make whether we are on the side of God and be blessed or on the side of the wicked that will suffer, let us choose to be blessed. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you peace. God bless. See you next time.